last week. Um, so if you look under week two, so when you go, uh, you know, when you start your course, when you open your course, you're going to see week one, week two. Week one has the syllabus. You can review to see what you graded on. Um, and then week two, I'm sorry, week two, where is week two? Over here, so first you go, there are a bunch of things here. <clears throat> so there, we start with week two activities. And um, this is the overview of the week. So, um, you know, read it. And basically what's happening here is that we're, we're talking about image. So one of the most important things in port is image, right? And what is an image? Um, your book tells you about that. Uh, and I'm not going to repeat that. Um, and so what are the assignments due today, uh, this week? Is the first poem I assigned it for Sunday. But you want to work on your first poem on Wednesday when we meet uh, during Zoom. And so the reading helps you figure out your first poem. I want you to write about love or erotic love. Uh, I mean, love for a partner, right? I mean, love for a partner is often erotic, you know, physical. has a physical component as, as well as a mental component. Um, and so, but it's fine if you just write a love poem. You know, the point is not to be embarrassed. Uh, have you feel like you cannot write or you're, you know, you feel like um, you're too embarrassed to, to, to write such things. I want you to to write, um, feel encouraged. And so, um, so pages 46 and 53 in your book, 85, 93, uh, they're right here under uh, reading. And um, I said that I did not attach pages 85, 93. Actually, I did attach it. If you look under week two, you are going to see the reading here, week two reading quiz. All you have to do is click on it. Oops, that's the quiz. That's something different. Uh, over here, uh, reading pages for images, chapter 8591. Uh, and there you go. Um, sorry, the first page is not extremely clear, uh, but it's readable. The next pages are more clear. And could not preview. Okay, yeah, it's working. Hey, where's the second page? Hmm, interesting. There was a problem. Okay, there it goes. It just takes, it might take you a little bit to load. No issues. Um, the pages for the first chapter in erotic poetry, it's in week one, okay? So I did not attach it here, it's in week one, right? Right here. Copies of signed reading, okay? So there is no excuse, even if you don't have the book yet, and please do have it uh, by the end of this week, I mean the next coming week, um, because I'm not gonna, it's against copyright for me just to keep copying pages right so it's assumed that you guys eventually have the book and I think two weeks is, is quite enough so anyway just moving on going back to week two activities so um, so one of your tasks is to read this first page um, then to do the readings in the, in the book by Wednesday um, then there's a reading quiz too, very easy. The link of the quiz is in this week too. It's right here. Uh, it's called reading two quiz, reading quiz, week two. Just click on it. It's based on the reading. Um, what else? You have two discussions. Discussion one is about abstract versus concrete. So basically what is abstract? Abstract is something like freedom. You know, you can't really see freedom, right? It's You can see examples of freedom, but not freedom itself. So that's called an abstract idea. A concrete idea of freedom is, um, for example, having access to Twitter. You know, unless, you know, you violate the policy of Twitter, right? 
So having access to publishing, it's, um, you know, like an example, concrete example of being able to exercise your freedom of speech, for example, right? Or an image of love, you know, a cliche image of love is two lovers kissing, right? Or hugging, right? Um, there are cliche images, um, concrete, right? So in this discussion, uh, you basically are supposed to provide your own just just read the what the discussions instructions are and it's pretty simple and explanatory um, if you don't understand just read it again and if you still don't understand send me an email right and the due date for that is Wednesday um, reply to two classmates by Sunday the other discussion is uh, involves the image generating machine Basically, if you click on this link, again, everything is explained uh, with examples. Um, so this is basically, so I give you a template here that will help you start a poem, okay? And um, you can you can use this template to start generating your, your love or erotic poem, okay? Um, so yes, do use this other exercise to, you know, uh, move on, start creating your first poem, right? Um, and, and I also attached a template, okay? So this is like a blank, right? And so there is an example of the poem there, uh, read it, um, and then just use that. For example, what I came up with, I use this generation. So, so much depends upon a steely, cold sky fragrant with your sandy hair against your hot velvet shoulder okay so this is the beginning of a love erotic poem whatever you want to call it okay so that's just a simple example you know me using this image generation machine right um, and then then I, I talk about poem one um, and so this is the poem itself is not due Wednesday. It's actually due Sunday, the finished product. But during our Zoom meeting, and I talk about a Zoom workshop, we're going to work on a draft of your poem. So by the time we meet on, on, in, on Zoom um, at 7 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday, you should already have, you should have already engaged this image generation template. And you should have read those pages on erotic poetry and uh, on image, okay? So, um, but that doesn't mean that the poem itself should be finished by Wednesday. Because on Wednesday, I'm going to put you into groups and you're going to share with your, your classmates what you've been trying to write, okay? And you're going to get feedback and hopefully that's going to stimulate your, your creativity and thinking, okay? And then you turn in a, a sort of like a draft to me Wednesday night. Okay, so then I also say something. And and uh, what's going to happen during uh, the Zoom workshop is described. Okay, this video that I'm making, I'm just introducing you, just kind of like a, a quick um, overview of what what's happening this week. Okay, so I'm just going to end it here. Thank you.